So it's Peanut here, and I'm going to show you what we are going to do with the popsicles and the twine that you got in your camp box. So this is to practice your lashing skills. And first off, you'll notice that you have two different sizes pieces of twine. So I want, I'm going to start with the shorter ones and save these long ones for a step a little bit later. Now you have a couple different options. You can use these popsicle sticks and your lashing skills that you're going to be working on to make a square. My cat wants to play. To make a square, and you could do like a picture frame and do four square lashes in these corners. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two square lashes with my short strings here. And then I'm going to practice my running lash with my long strings going from the bottom up. So I'm going to grab a piece of string here. And here I can use my modified clove hitch because I can get to the top of one of these sticks. I'm going to put it on the one that's going to be vertical in my case here. And I want to leave enough string that I can tie a square knot at the end of this. So that's probably pretty close, maybe a little long, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to put my cross beam right here and I'm going to start lashing. So again, I'm going to go over the cross beam behind, I'm just going to call this a tree, the vertical piece, and up over the cross beam again and behind that vertical piece. And once again, I'm gonna follow the same path behind, over the cross piece, behind the vertical, over the cross piece, and behind. And now I'm gonna do this three times and then I'm gonna start with my frapping. If you'll remember from the video, this is gonna go in between the tree or my vertical piece and this cross beam. And I'm going to just go wrap it, hence frap, around this. You can see that I'm going to go right there parallel to my cross piece and I'm going to try to pull it as tight as I can. So a string I might only have room for one frap, but since I'm not putting a whole lot of weight on it, that'll do for this project. We'll see if I can leave some more room next time. So what knot do I end my lashing project with? A square knot. So right over left and under, pull that tight, and left over right and under. And there I have my square knot. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm going to do my modified clove hitch. So I have my two loops, one with the tail crossing over and one with the tail behind and the one that goes behind loop on top. I'm going to put my clove hitch on my tree. I'm going to leave a little less tail here for my square knot. See if I can do a little bit better with my frapping here. Then I'm going to put my cross beam across And again, pull this to the side. I'm gonna go over my cross beam, around my vertical, over my cross beam, behind my vertical, over the cross beam, behind the vertical, over the cross beam, behind the vertical, over the cross beam, behind the vertical. And I'm going to start frapping here. I'm going to go with the magical number three on everything. Okay, now I'm going to come back the other way. I'm going to frap. So again, I'm going to go parallel to this cross beam right here. So along in between the vertical on that cross beam, I'm going to tighten up my lash. 
tight. Again, you're going to want to frap the magic number three. Now this time I have a lot more rope to work with, twine to work with. So I'll flip this over since my, not, my tails are on this side. So again, I'm ending my lashing project with a square knot. Right over left, tuck it under. Hopefully you can see this. And left over right and tuck it under. And there's my square knot. So now I have two whoop, I have two square lashes in my corners on my popsicle sticks. So now let's practice that other lashing method we taught you in the videos, the running lash. And this is where running lash is always easier when you have more friends to help you, but we're Girl Scouts and we can do anything. So with these long ropes, you're going to find your middle point. And again, I can get away with doing a modified clove hitch for this purpose, since I can reach the end of my popsicle sticks. So I'm going to do that just to save a little time. I'm going to stack my loops. And again, I'm going to want to put it on in this case, for a running lash, this is going to be my cross beam. And I start with a clove hitch there. Now, ideally, my friend would be doing the same thing, finding the middle piece of the rope, doing a clove hitch, and you can put it on this other side. And if I had this friend, we could end up doing a running lash at the same time. And it would be so much fun. So I'm gonna try to put <laughs> my tails out here. Try to keep this as clean as possible for this video. It might be challenging here, but okay. So then, if you'll remember, we're making our little tabletop here. I'm gonna put a stick. And my running lash, my rope, is going to go over that slat and go underneath. And you got to pull this one down. And just for ease, I'll flip this over since I kind of can on this project. And then I'm going to make an X. Now I'm going to flip my project back over here and I'm going to come up so I have to pull this one out do this little square pull this one out pull it tight and ideally it would be good to do it on this side all at the same time but I'm going to stay on one side so now I want to take my next slat and I'm going to put it right next to it So my rope is going to go over that slot. This one that's in the square has got to go down through here. Pull it tight. This one's going to go down on the side. Pull it tight. And then pinch this. They're going to cross underneath and come back up. I'm over here out of the way. Just pinch that back here for the time being. I'm going to get my next slot, put it right next to that. And again, put my rope over. Now my rope has to go into the square. Pinch that side. 
And this one's going to cross over that slot. I'm going to pinch that there. Just so I'm holding it. Just so I don't lose my end and lose the tightness of my lash. Again, I'm going to cross my twine. Make an X. And come back up. So this has to come back up through my square. This one's on the edge. I'm just going to hold on to them there so I don't lose the tightness of my lash since it's just me doing this. All right. So I put my next slot there. I'm going to pull my strings over that slot. Again, this guy's going... This guy's going in the square here. Pull him down. Kind of pinch that there so I can get this piece of the rope down under. I'll pinch it on top here. And I'll make that X. Put my finger there and pull my tails up through here. Now, I'll get my next slat, put it down, and I'm going to cross my rope over, I hope you can see this, <laughs> I'm going to put my rope down in the square, I'm going to pinch that popsicle stip stick and rope right here so I can work on this one. Put it under, and then I'm going to cross the ropes underneath. The cat wants to play. All right, and then I'm going to pull it up through the square. And just pinch them on there so they're out of the way. I'm going to put another slot here. two pieces of rope cross over whoa it's okay still got it put that slot there sometimes things aren't graceful yeah put my rope back down over that slot over that slat pull that hold that popsicle stick in the rope this one goes over that popsicle stick. You're going to make an X behind. And come back up. Looks like my last popsicle stick is going to fit right here. Kind of wedge it in there for my square lash. And I'm going to go over. This one I'm going to thread through this little gap. And I'm going to make an X on the back. And I'm going to end it with a square knot. So, this is my right hand. Right, over left, under, left, over right, and under. So you'll see all of my running lash started with clove hitch. Put it closer. Started with clove hitch. Got my running lash on both sides of the slats. When you look on the underneath side, you can see where I've just crossed over and it makes um, that pattern on the underneath side. So now what you can do is the exact same thing on this side. So I've got all these sticks, and they're kind of held in place. I already started my clove hitch over here. So now I just have to do the running lash over here. So I'm going to go over these sticks. This time this middle one's going to be a little bit more interesting since I've got all these sticks in there. 
So that just means I need to take a little more time and that's okay. Pull it through. Again, keeping my lash tight. That way nothing moves. I'm gonna cross it in the back. Hold it tight. And I'm gonna come up, same spot. Put this little rope through, pull him out. All right, move that slack tight there. Continue doing this and finish the rest of your design. And again, ending with a square knot. And after you're done, you have a couple different options. You can use this as a coaster, put your drink, soda can on there, water cup, or your jaw water bottle that we gave you also in your camp box. And if you haven't figured out your jaw water bottle, if you put it in cold water, it'll change colors. Hopefully that's not a spoiler alert there, but so this can be a coaster, or you could still use it as a picture frame and cut out a picture and glue it to your popsicle sticks and have it framed like that. However you want to do it, or you can draw a picture. It's your design, it's your craft, and you can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to finish this out and show you what it looks like in the end. So now I have finished my running table lash on both sides. And now, since I'm gonna use this as a coaster, I don't need all these little hanging bits here. So just to make it look nice, you can take a pair of scissors, cut off all these extra ends. And you have a wonderful coaster lashed all by yourself. So congratulations.